Welcome again to another 30 minutes with Skip E. Love. Today, our guests run the gamut from B to C. They are the son of an actor who created the role of Nels in I Remember Bummer, and the daughter of an actress who won a Charleston contest and served as a springboard for the movies. In case you are still wondering as to the identity of these two offspring, they are, in alphabetical order, Christian Brando and Christina Crawford. And now, here's the low who puts a high in viewing entertainment, your man of the half hour, Skip E. Blow. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Looking at Hollywood today. We have a dynamite of a show, a real Hollywood show. I want you to sit back and relax, because I'd like you to meet one of Hollywood's great American, and I think she was an international movie star, his daughter today. She is Miss Christina Crawford. Who was Joan Crawford's daughter? Yes, Born yes. Joan Crawford's daughter. I know, I know. I, that must be hitting all the time, Joan Crawford's daughter. I mean, when I was a little girl, it was very difficult because I never felt that I had a name. Right. So I was like a hyphenate, and I always felt that somebody was looking around to see who the little uh, puppy was, uh -huh, you know. Uh -huh. But um, as I have grown up, I have gotten used to it. Not only that, but I was an adopted child. So yeah, I didn't really know my own parents. And my mother was um, such a superstar that right. there was there was a part of her that I didn't know either. So it you took me know? a long time to find out who I was, mm -hmm. you know? Uh -huh. You mean you really didn't know your mother? I mean, there really? were parts of her that I did not know until I became an adult because I couldn't relate to them. I couldn't relate to the problems. I couldn't relate to the pressures. I couldn't relate to the to the career, I couldn't relate to how she chose to raise Did you children. ever go to the studio and set on the set? Oh, sure. For many times. Really? Tiny, really? tiny, tiny. Uh -huh. Yes, I grew up on a set. How was she on the MGM set? MGM Studios, yeah. I grew Tell up. me, how was she? At Warner Brothers, too? Was yes, she, Warner Brothers. She started at MGM, on. didn't yes, she? Yes, she was there for 17 years. Seven, And she moved over to? To Warner Brothers, which in those days was considered uh, a demotion uh -huh. because MGM did the big, expensive musicals. They right. Had, they had the, the supposedly the best stars and Warner Brothers did the dramatic pictures the B pictures the, the right. you know those kind of pictures but there were fantastic people that uh, were at Warner Brothers Betty Davis and Bancroft you know so, yes, so right. fantastic tell people. me about Joan Crawford on I mean at home and on the, on the set was two she, different people two that's right two completely ben Crosby was that different too. That's what I understand. And I talked to Gary yeah. Crosby. I had him on and, my show. He uh, said the same thing. Yes. He's, I, I was very interested because I knew about the family when I was young, but I didn't actually know the boys. Mm -hmm. They were a little older than I was. But my mother was two different people. She was the, um, the, the person who had been an abused child. Was she, she was? She was? She, yes. I think that she was sexually abused. I know she was oh. physically abused. And, but of course, a child, as a child, I didn't know uh -huh. that. Uh -huh. But um, that was the part of her that came out in intimate situations. Uh -huh. But the professional was the one that was at the studio. And she had that person very much under control, except when she was drinking. She did drink a lot? Uh, in the later years, yes, she did. Uh -huh. And that's one of the reasons that I am so interested in helping people who are adults now who were abused as children. Well, and, that's uh, what you're doing now, Yes. Right? Well, one of the things that I'm doing. It's that. It's called the Survivor's Network. Yeah, tell us about that. And it's um, a national network of um, an, an organization, nonprofit organization, mm -hmm. that oh. is referral information for any adult, anybody over 16, who was abused as a child. We have um, psychiatrists, self-help groups, uh -huh. we have uh, drug rehabilitation programs that we can refer people to, uh -huh. we have facilitators in most of the states, and um, we have a uh, survey now going out to learn more about what the long-term effects mm -hmm. of child abuse mm -hmm. are on adult life. Yes. And uh, anybody can write me for that survey. And we need men. We need men. Why to men? Tell me. Well, because um, I do a lot of writing for magazines, and um, most of the magazines that I have written for, I have uh, an article coming out in the uh, October Red Book, and they're primarily women's magazines or magazines that have primarily women audiences. And um, I would like to reach more men to find Where do they out. Where do they write to? Um, our address is 18653 mm -hmm. Ventura Boulevard. That's in the valley. Number 143, Tarzana, California, 91356. Okay, I'll put that. I'll let all of them know. You. I will. Thank Tell you. me about the book. 
the Black Widow. I kind of love it. You would love that. Really? That, yes, you would love that it. book. It's, it's, um, it's a murder mystery. Uh -huh. It's about uh, a family. The, the two main characters, which is unusual mm -hmm. today, yeah. um, are both women, a young woman of 20 and a woman of, in her 40s. Uh -huh. um, the woman in her 40s is really the catalyst, but you don't know that until yeah. way far into the book. She's a sociopath. And I think we've all met those people, haven't we? <laughs> yes, they're usually quite successful, beautiful, um, uh, dynamic, and lethal. Uh, she's all of those things. And she takes a situation that looks like an accident and turns it into um, total destruction and chaos for everybody around her. And she almost wins. It is almost the perfect crime. It was a wonderful book to write. I really, really got it. Yes, I yeah. loved it. I loved it. Because in fiction, uh -huh. making everything up, uh -huh. you can really let your fantasies go. Uh -huh. And uh, you're not constrained by facts. You and, seem to enjoy and, writing nowadays. Yes, huh? and I love life. So that's even more important. You Why know? do you love life so much, Christina? Tell me. Well, because it's real important. Because the alternative is uh -huh. unacceptable. <laughs> <laughs> and it takes a long time to realize that. True, true, you true. Know? That's going to be into a movie, I understand. Yes. Mm -hmm. God willing, it's going to be in the movie. It's um, we did it you? as a uh, we are doing it as an independent production. Uh -huh. And um, needless to say, right now we are having uh, the struggle of our lives, which is raising the money. Uh -huh. It uh, separates not not only yeah. the men from the boys, yeah. but but the wimps from the, yeah. <laughs> from the strong, right? Yeah. And um, so we're going to raise the money and uh -huh. then do it as an independent production. Survival Network. What's yes. that? What's that about? Well, the Survival that's, Network... That's something else. Then. Well, that's the, the organization for adults who were abused as children. Oh, I see. Uh -huh. And um, I spend <coughs> probably all of my free time working on that. We have a program that we refer prisoners to. Uh -huh. We have um, an organization that we refer people that were foster children. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Um, there are lots of problems that child abuse appears to create when people become adults. And up until very recently, we haven't understood that. There are health problems. There are problems in forming good relationships, uh, trusting intimate relationships. That seems to be very difficult for people that were abused as there children. There is a lot of abused children around. There yes. Is. There really yes. is. They don't talk, do they? Not usually, no. And sometimes not even as an adult. But yeah. you know what's happened? The media has done a very good job um, and I think we're all very grateful. Programs like Something About Amelia, programs like Adam, um, some of the, the Burning Bed, some yes, of those yes. other uh, programs yes. have really helped people to understand the problem. That's very nice, Christine. You're very lovely. Tell me something about your vineyards. My vineyards? Yes, your vineyards. <laughs> is it in Napa Valley, is it? No, no, no. Where no, is no. It? It's in San Luis Obispo. Ah. And okay. that's near Hearst Castle for Tell those me about viewers that are not in California. Why did Christina Crawford get into the vineyard? Well, well it, it's me. a romantic um, uh, business. It's also a lot of hard work. Um, when I was a is little there a big girl, there's not a profit in it. I understand. Well, you make a big profit. I'm, I'm sure that people like the Sebastianis and the Gallows make uh -huh, a good profit. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Uh, the young uh, wineries have have a difficult time. You have to be in it for a while to oh, see, see a profit. But um, I wanted. Uh, it's called, called Creston Manor. Creston. Creston Manor. Manor, and the village that our post office uh -huh. is in is the town of Preston. It's really a village. It has two saloons at the post office. Very small town. <laughs> That's right. And a lot of cattle. <laughs> Howard Johnson's yeah. got a good flavor. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing like that. Why so Believe many it. stars have vineyards? Tell me. Well, there. I met Pat Paulson re recently on a, a distributors convention, and he's a wonderful man. He started out um, uh, planting vineyards and only then uh -huh. got into the wine business. I think it's, it is such a contrast to show mm -hmm. business. Yep. Show bus business is, is high-paced, pa urban, yes, yes, yes. Um, youth-oriented, and um, very much what was your last job, yes, yes. what was your last success. Yes, yes. Whereas the wine business is exactly the opposite. Mm -hmm. Longevity and patience are revered. Oh, I see. And I think that's what may make it very appealing. I'm going to ask you this question. What right. was your mother really like? I mean... Really she was many different people, quite Like honestly. you're saying before, she, she wasn't. She, one of the things that I remember most about my mother was that she was a very sad person. 
many times when I was a child going to bed at night, I would wake up in the middle of the night. My bed, my mother's um, living room area was right next to my bedroom, and she would leave the doors open. So I could hear her talking into the dictaphone, do, dictating letters. And later on in the evening, I would hear her crying. And probably it was 12, 1 o'clock, 2 o'clock in the morning. And my heart broke for her. Mm -hmm. But because I was a little girl, yes. I did yes. not have the courage to go into, into her room. room and try to comfort her. And if I regret anything, it is not being able to do that. But you know something? Great people, great people are always lonely. It's empathical. It's, it's something it's, about... It's like, unfortunate. It is. They're, they're great. They're always great. They're some, but tell me something. The book, Mommy Dearest, yes. was it exactly the movie? Was it exactly like your book? No, that, nothing like it. Nothing like it. Tell me what. I don't know why. Um, I tried very hard to convince them that they were making a mistake. Did you have anything to say? I wrote two scripts. Two scripts. Mm -hmm. And after they received the second one, they then spent another year and a half to two years, <coughs> went through five writers and hundreds of thousands of dollars mm -hmm. to get a script that ended up being the quote-unquote by committee right, script. Right, right. Historically, it wasn't accurate. It wasn't. No. And that's where the problem began. They tried, I think to show a direct cause and effect. In other words, an event in real life that was um, followed by some behavior on my mother, that, my mother's part, that was very bizarre. Yes. Like uh, they, they put together her being fired by Warner Brothers right. with the cutting down of the that rose tree. garden. I didn't like yes. that. Well, it didn't that's happen that, that way. Of course, I believe that's that. That's too simplistic. Yeah. That's yeah. too simplistic. That's the I mean, one I didn't like. Well, it didn't Isn't happen that, that way. The tree. It her not, going out cutting that tree. No. That no. She wasn't no, Joan Crawford. No, no. No. She did do that once. She cut down an orange tree. But I but think it was after the lover's quarrel. <laughs> <laughs> That's the oh, right. truth. <laughs> okay. I was very young and I didn't know too much about those kind of things, but that's what I She did have yeah. a lot of love. I think she, she did, <laughs> yes. <laughs> you know what I'd like you to meet right now? What? I would like you to meet another great American son who is Marlon Brando's son. He's great. Yes, Marlon he's, Brando, he's wonderful. Isn't he a great actor? I like to and meet so his son. And his son is a Christian terrible. Brando, yes, yes. isn't he? And yes. it's his first, first show. show. Yes, yes, Christian, how are you? <laughs> yes, how are you? Congratulations. 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 Welcome, welcome. Welcome. How are you doing, son? Christian just got back from Tahiti. Tell us about it. Oh, what, was it? what was Tahiti like, really? Uh, Where were you in Tahiti? Uh, down in the South Pacific. It's an atoll uh, about 30 miles northeast of Tahiti itself. Uh -huh. And uh, me and my, uh, my friend uh, Bill Cable right. were down there. Uh -huh. and, uh, we were Your dad sent you down there to cut some trees. Yeah, we, we were running a logging operation. Cause, uh, You're a tree surgeon. Did you know that? Surgeon. That's what yeah. he does. Cut that's, the trees. Yeah, we run a tree service uh, uh -huh. right here in Hollywood right. and then out in the valley. And um, a hurricane had came in and uh, wiped out my uh, my dad's hotel, and he needed some help. So, so uh, we we started up a sawmill, uh -huh. and we had a real big logging operation, and uh, we had tractors and uh, you know chainsaws mm -hmm. uh -huh. and all kinds of people mm -hmm. going on. And so you had a good time down there, didn't you? Well, then uh, well it was grueling because it's. Uh, it's jungle, it's a lot of mosquitoes, uh -huh. shark infested waters, and uh, Not at all of... like the paradise that you think of, <laughs> Oh, right? no, no, no. Your dad's renting the hotel out now, I understand. Oh, it's yeah, the very, business very is open well. right now, and uh, all the lumber that we, uh, that we milled uh -huh. uh, had uh, rebuilt the hotel. How many cabins does he have? I'm not really sure. I think maybe uh, about 31. 31 cabins. 31. All filled, I understand. Oh, yeah. It's the, I mean, it's, it's just booming. Tell me about your mother, Anna Kasha. I think she's she, pretty good. She's doing she, all right. Is she? Where is she living now? She's living in San Diego in Alpine. And uh, she's remarried. Yes, Has she, a husband. She and, is remarried. Yeah. Do you still steer? Uh, yeah. I, well, I've talked to her on the how many, how many kids do the Brando have? How many? Uh, well, I've got I've got my brother Miko, and I've got my brother Teho, too, my little sister uh, Cheyenne. Miko works for Michael Jackson. That's is right. that correct? Yes, sir. He's a bodyguard for Michael Jackson. Tell me about yeah. that. How did he get that job? Why would he do that, Miko? Uh, well, Does he, like he it? likes he likes that you know the industry. He's uh -huh. a real good kid. He's very talented. Not in the business. None of the kids are in the business at all. Mm, no, no. But tell me, 
Kristen. What? Would you really like to get into the uh, film? No, well, well I, actually, I, I've, I've started to break in the modeling business. And you I've, are? Uh, uh -huh. done some stuff and uh but i mean i'm slowly breaking into it you know i'm uh -huh. you know, big time today is <laughs> yeah. today is the day right, right. <laughs> tell me about your father why does he like oriental women i gotta ask you that question i don't know men do usually like well, oriental. everybody has their attraction for somebody you know I mean, good uh, answer <laughs> arnold brando went to tahiti he just got back from tahiti i understand yeah and, and he was he taking care of he's been taking care of business down there and uh, -huh. uh, uh we're um he's just re trying to reconstruct what mother nature had uh, destroyed how's his health today christian he's looking really good he is he's lost weight i understand oh, yes, how, many, how many pounds did he lose christian? i i couldn't tell you but i mean it's guys and dolls all over again <laughs> I understand he lost 80 pounds. Oh no, my, that's no. what I was told. I'm not going to be You're not going to, well, you know. How, does he, how did he lose these pounds? Tell me, what does I he do? What's his diet? Like what? What, is, no. what does he eat? What, is, what does he eat? I, I have, well, it depends. You know, I mean. Like, <clears throat> does he exercise around the house? Or? Yeah, he works out this and he does like, things. He, he, uh, he writes and uh, he builds furniture and... Uh, he uh, does a lot of things. I mean, you know, he likes working with his hands. Hands. Yeah. Uh -huh. He's, uh, He's a like craftsman. You. That's yeah. where you got that from, huh? Oh, yeah. And I guess, I don't know, he runs in the family and whatnot. I see. Are you married, Christian? Huh? Are you married? Um, I used to be married. Uh -huh. That's a joke. <laughs> it's a joke. It's a joke. Okay. Well, no. it's, you know, I like to bring him. have his own show. Oh, after he is. <laughs> you know, Christina, I like to bring, I like Christina to meet your friend. He is, he just got back from Tahiti with yeah, you. Yeah, well, he was down there. Yeah, and, and we you know, were, uh, Bill Cable we were... has done a lot of films. He has yeah. just, he's a matter of fact, a new Pee Wee Herman's uh, Big Adventure right That's now. Right. And he was, he was uh, Cassandra Peterson's ex-boyfriend for many years, who is Elvira. Remember Elvira? He went and he's done a lot of films and he's writing. I understand he's writing, right? Well, let's get him on. Bill Cable, how are you? Look at him, Bill. How are you doing? Hello. <laughs> Hi, Bill. This is Christina Crawford. Hi. Yes. Hi. Uh, yes. Yes. You saved this young man's life in uh, Tahiti. What happened that day? What did yeah, you anyway, do? I was... Um, Oh, he had a day off. Foot. My girlfriend just came for the day, so I was taking the day off. Your girlfriend came to Tahiti? Yeah, for 10 days. Uh -huh. We're now married. I see. Go ahead. So, um, I said to her, I said, you know, I haven't seen Christian around for a while. I said, I'm a little worried. Ah, oh, he's okay. He's okay. Uh -huh. so I started looking out, and I saw a little dot way out on the reef. And then I kept watching the dot, and mm -hmm. finally it moved, and we went back to the cabin for a little while. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> and when I came out, the dot was gone. I said, you know, something's wrong. I said, I think Christian's in trouble. She said, well, yeah, okay. So I took a little boat, mm -hmm. started it up, went out there and started looking, right? Got out there a few miles, and there was my little brother, Brandoline, out in the water, you know. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Bill, hey! <laughs> okay, I'm coming, you know. Speeded up the engine. Um, got him on board, and uh, there are a few sharks. Uh, they have sharks on there? Uh-huh. Sharks. Lots of sharks. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, there's about right. a... Really? Lord. My God. There's, there's, about a, the there's, there's as many the sharks out there as there are China. <laughs> China. 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 So, no, this is... Good. Anyway, this is good. You know, I mean, nine... Were you just swimming? Foot. Were you just swimming? I was, no, what happened was we had, we had, a, we had a huge barge, uh -huh. and we had, uh, oh. I'd say, at least 15 tons of timber on it. Quite I mean, a bit These giant tow trees, I it maybe almost two of them you could only fit in, in the studio right did you have help out there or did you just do two of them? oh no we no we had a, a cat 950. I so basically it was just yeah yeah so and what actually what happened is uh we overloaded the you know the boat. Our, our barge right yes. and we were taking in water really fast and I that was it, it tipped over and down. it didn't actually tip over it kind of capsized and we had Sink. Sink. <laughs> 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 I sunk a boat. Um, what do you think of doing sinking on this boat? <laughs> so, Good impression uh, of Brando. So, anyways, uh, I left I left uh, the <laughs> tracker driver impression. out there, and uh, I said, "Here, you stay with the motor and everything, uh -huh. and make sure you know. I mean, this is this tow wood that we were um, trying to save. Uh -huh. you know, these trees are like 600 years old, I see. and they're ancient, and they've been there on this asshole for." Oh, God, I'd say maybe almost 900 years. Is the island really heaven? I hear it's heaven out there. If is you can withstand still? the mosquitoes. The mosquitoes? Yeah, there's a heavy mosquito. I understand you, nothing. 
bear, bear nothing. Real just your birthday suit. Uh, yeah, just bear suit. Really you guys nice people there. I got to tell you this. Nine. The hotel wasn't open, so I didn't go around naked all the time. Uh -huh. But but you did. Most there were only nine people there, so I'd get around the other side of the island and take off my uh, pedeo and uh -huh. go spearfishing nude. You know, uh -huh. planes would fly by. Hey. The tourists yeah, looking right. at you down the island. <laughs> right, so now the hotel's open. I'm sure it's a different story. Uh -huh. But, Bill um, Cave. How long you two guys been knowing each other? A long time? Um, well, going on four years. Four yeah. years? Yeah. Oh, I see. So tell me about your career. Pee Wee uh, News Big Adventure. Well, I had, a, I had a part in Pee Wee's uh, movie playing a cop. Mm -hmm. uh, I was in Falcon and the Snowman. Had a great part in that as oh. a cocaine dealer. Um, got cut out of the film because Dalton Lee, who's in prison, mm -hmm. thought that the uh, scene depicted him as a stool pigeon and he thought he'd be killed in the joint. I see. So they had to cut out the whole thing, and I was very upset about it. And you're writing, and you're, I understand you are writing. He, Bill is a writer, Christina. He, he, I understand you. Still aspiring, he, buddy. But you are writing right now about your experiences? About now? our exploits in Tahiti, right. We had a lot of adventures over there. Uh -huh. That um, Now, if he had to come along in the boat, I mean, this thing was going to eat me alive. Yeah, really, I mean, was going to be killed. He was going to be shot at food. So Bill quick. Cable really saved your no, life. No, oh, listen, this thing was swimming around, and I was bobbing up and down in the water, and I'm coming up for air, and I turn around, and I glance out of the back of my eye, and I see this thing coming through the water. And I, oh, I thought it was a little, you know, there's a little, you know, black uh -huh. dip shark swimming around. Like, but, I mean, this dad was big. I mean, there was no joking around. And I didn't have no place to go, and it kept circling around me. And thank God, Bill got there, mm -hmm. and he pulled me out of the water. Uh -huh. And um, I mean, he was hungry. And I was not me, but was I? No, I'm talking about. I had a six pack of beer. I had a six pack of beer. Here, man. <laughs> so anyway, he, he pulled me out of the drink, uh -huh. and uh, it it was a really close call. I mean, oh, I mean, the man saved my life, you know. If he hadn't been watching, and also plus the fact that we were out there, we were, you know, we were logging and. Uh, Bill had, uh, you know, broken his foot. I mean, we're taking coconut trees down 70, 80 feet tall, uh -huh. and when they hit the ground, they make a thump. And I mean, this where, is. Where were you born, Christian? I was born right here in uh, West Hollywood. But you spent a lot of West Hollywood. All my life, I've been Bill was born in Hollywood. Twenty-seven years. Yeah, I've been and in Christina? I was born at Hollywood Presbyterian. Isn't that funny? I have three Which college people. Oh, uh, I went to private high school. I went to North Chad Hollywood. Hollywood. Private North Hollywood, Chad private. Chad and where did you go? Chad where did you go? Chad. Yeah, military school. Which military school? My brother went to all of them. I went to North. I went to Brentwood Academy for six years. Six years. Yeah, I was in the Air Force Academy. And uh, always in trouble on detention. They had me. You're always in trouble. Oh yeah, I was always on detention. Not now. No, no, I mean this is years ago yeah. when I was a little kid, and yeah. they had me walking around the football field with an M1 Gerard, thirty uh -huh. six, uh -huh. going around, you know, holding stacks of Bibles up my arm. I was always a rebel. Going always a rebel. Oh yeah, I got kicked out of high school and all kinds of stuff. You know, I was a real troublemaker. Tell me something about your uh, father. Did you re did you ever used to go on the set with your dad? And watch no, I know I've never I've never get been associated with the industry or the business. And never, and never, never. Why is that, Chris? I I've just been doing other things, my own projects, you know, uh -huh. and uh, my tree work uh -huh. and stuff like that. You and enjoy doing your tree work. Oh yeah, and, and I do what you know. I, uh, I, I, I was teaching school for a while. I, w I worked at uh, Pacific Coast uh, Tech. It's an adult vocational college, uh -huh. and I uh, was teaching structural steel, high pressure pipe welding, Healy arc welding, uh -huh. and stuff like that. Isn't and, that great, Christina? And, yes. uh, I think it's wonderful. He's a good, yeah, honest, he's a hard worker. Yes, he's a good, you know, honest, hard worker. I've, I've been a mechanic that. for you know a couple of years down at Lynch Mercury Ford down in Santa Monica. You know, mm -hmm. hi Johnny. <laughs> Yeah, it really is wonderful because, you know, a lot of people that I grew up with yes. in this kind of situation mm -hmm. are not here now. I mean, they have yeah. killed themselves, they have OD'd, they, you know, yes, a lot yes, of yes. terrible things happen yeah. to uh, people there in mental institutions. So I think that it's hard to grow up under um, the, the spotlight of enormous success yes, yes. and, and yes. Um, attraction yes. and the fans. And yes, I think that's yes. real difficult, yeah. you know. Christian, tell me something about your father when you were a child. What do you remember mostly of Marlon Brando? I mean, like, what, anything that, you know, um, like, did he... Well, uh, what are you talking about? Well, mm -hmm. like, you know, something that when you were a kid, and uh, that did he ever do anything, uh, like, like a father abuse, son. a father's son? Oh, I know you're sure, very, you're parents, very close get, to huh? parents get in fights, I mean, with their children and stuff like that. I mean, that's... Is he very strict yeah, with yeah. you? Oh, well... 
I mean, you know, I mean, he gets, you know, used to get on my case and stuff like that. Like what, Christian? Oh, just, you know, I mean, you mess up, you know, uh -huh. or you get in a little car accident or something. You know, it's a normal run of the mill. Oh, I see. And uh, usually, you know, I mean, when we're growing up, we're, um, you know, need to building things. He's very tool, tool oriented. Yes. And uh, we have, uh, he likes working with his hands, and uh, he's, a, he's a talented man. You live near Jack Nicholson, don't you? Up in yeah, oh yeah. I Jack know. is a very good friend. Yeah, ja I know Jack. Jack's a real good guy. Yeah, I do is. his trees for him every year. You, 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 you cut trees for all the stars. Who, who else do you cut trees for? Uh, you cut well, trees I've for done, uh, who else have I done? After uh, the day. Paul Dendell. <laughs> I did and his Christina house. Christina needs some work. Huh? I need some work. I just had some. She just had some. See? Well, we're going to contact Next time. <laughs> Kristen, where can they contact you? You're two together working yeah. in your tree service. Oh, yeah. The, okay, the telephone number is uh, well, area code 213 851 6908. And that's where they contact you on that's your tree right. search. Okay, fine. And where, what's the name of the uh, company? CB Tree Service. It's my own company. Okay, good. Kristen, and uh, tell me well, more. Actually, it's Cable with Brando's tree service. See, uh, okay. okay. <laughs> what do you mean, well, he got top billing, but. Uh, you know. <laughs> Bill Cable just did an impression of just a few moments ago. Of oh, here Brando. we go. I'd like to see who does the best impression. We're gonna have right? an audience participation. Yes, let's do it now. Let's see who does the best. Okay, go ahead. Go ahead, Christine. Go ahead, Christine. No, uh, go, ahead, Bill. go ahead. Go ahead, Bill. We gotta get. Um, I want to tell you something here, yeah, Christian. Uh, you know, I'm not. Um, I'm not really that. Uh, Happy about looking forward to sending you back to Tahiti with Bill. I mean, you guys did okay there, but you drank about 200 cases of beer. <laughs> 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 Very good. Great. And now, go ahead, Christian. Go ahead. Go ahead. Uh, listen, Cable, there ain't no way that you're going back on my asshole and chopping any more trees. I told you to cut the tall trees, but uh, evidently you were too busy uh, drinking all my beer up, so uh, forget it. <laughs> <laughs> but I thank you for saving my uh, my son's life from the uh, from the Great White Shark, and uh, that was cool. Uh, I think nothing I would think of. Uh, uh, no, no, I mean, you need to think of. Isn't that wonderful? Aren't they? Well, for you. This is how we entertain ourselves on Tahiti for three months. You know, how do you really entertain yourself in Tahiti after after it gets dark? <laughs> after it gets dark, we I'll don't. tell you after we're off the air, Skip. No, go on, tell us now. Okay, you know, right, don't okay, get okay, carried away right, now. Okay. <laughs> did a lot of, we did a lot of spirit fishing. We went trolling. We caught big fish. Trolling? Christian taught oh, me how to go boy, to oh, that's a Tahitian style. When you go out and you go for like giant barracuda, which we caught, uh -huh. and uh, big tunas, you throw your line out there, you've got nothing but gloves on. Uh -huh. And I'll tell you, there's nothing like it. You've got a couple of six packs, uh -huh. you know, you're sitting out there, all of a sudden you get a hit. <laughs> <laughs> Pulling around, but Christian helped me pull, pull in the biggest barracuda over there. Did he really? It was about as big as us. The biggest uh -huh. one that was there. Um, you know, that all the natives, all the believe. Tahitian guys, hey, they, could, they all wanted our barracuda. The, uh -huh. the Americans have it out. We caught the biggest fish. I know. The Marines yeah. have landed. Right. The Marines have Going landed. over the reef in that boat, and we came back with this fish. Uh -huh. And it was really, it was quite scary because uh, um, I wasn't doing anything. And all of a sudden, we're sitting there going blah, yeah. blah. Yeah. And Bill got hooked up. Yeah. And Next thing you know, around. okay, let's go. It's all yours. And I left it to Bill, and he kept pulling it in and pulling it in. And all of a sudden, and, and, and the, the nylon, we were using 250-pound test, and that is really thick, heavy-duty nylon. We're not using any fancy Penn State reel and rod, nothing. No, this is you, uh, this is you against the fish. Like Christina? This. Yes. We're going, to, we're going to sign. We're going to sign. I don't know what I can oh, add to this Christina, particular conversation. I'm trolling. We're going to sign off. Time's gone. Tell oh, us about it. It is? Oh, yes, 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 yes. yes. Yeah. If, if, if any... Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Excuse me, gentlemen. Thank you. Go ahead. If any of your viewers yes. were abused as children, yes. please write for the questionnaire. Um, we need to know more information about... They can write me here, write right to and yes. yes. that'll be fine. What your life is like today. Okay, fine. Thank you. Thank you, Christina. Thank you. You're very kind. And Christina. Uh, a family. The the two main characters, which is unusual mm -hmm. today, yeah. um, are both women. A young woman of 20 and a woman of, in her 40s. Uh -huh. um, the woman in her 40s is really the catalyst, but you don't know that until yeah. way far into the book. 
she's a sociopath. And I think we've all met those people, haven't we? <laughs> yes, they're usually quite successful, beautiful, um, uh, dynamic, and lethal. Uh, she's all of those things. And she takes a situation that looks like an accident and turns it into um, total destruction and chaos for everybody around her. And she almost wins. It is almost the perfect crime. It was a wonderful book to write. I really, really got it. Yes, I yeah. loved it. I loved it. Because in fiction, uh -huh. making everything up, uh -huh. you can really let your fantasies go. Uh -huh. And uh, you're not constrained by facts. You and, seem to enjoy writing nowadays. Yes, huh? and I love life. So that's even more important. You Why know? do you love life so much, Christina? Tell me. Well, because it's real important. Because the alternative is uh, unacceptable. <laughs> <laughs> and it takes a long time to realize that. True, true, you true. Know? That's going to be into a movie, I understand. Yes. Mm -hmm. God willing, it's going to be in the movie. It's um, we you know, did it you, as a um, uh, we are doing it as an independent production. Uh -huh. And um, needless to say, right now we are having uh, the struggle of our lives, which is raising the money. Uh -huh. It uh, separates not not only yeah. the men from the boys, yeah. but but the wimps from the yeah. <laughs> from the strong, right? Yeah. And um, so we're going to raise the money and uh -huh. then do it as an independent production. Survival Network. What's yes. that? What's that about? Well, the Survival that's, Network... That's something else. Well, that's the, the organization for adults who were abused as children. Oh, I see. Uh -huh. And um, <coughs> I spend probably all of my free time working on that. We have a program that we refer prisoners to. Uh -huh. We have um, an organization that we refer people that were foster children. Uh -huh. um, there are lots of problems that child abuse appears to create when people become adults. And up until very recently, we haven't understood that. There are health problems. There are problems in forming good relationships, uh, trusting intimate relationships. That seems to be very difficult for people that were abused as there children. There is a lot of abused children around. There yes. Is. There really yes. is. They don't talk, do they? Not usually, no. And sometimes not even as an adult. But yeah, you know what's happened? The media has done a very good job um, and I think we're all very grateful. Programs like something about Amelia's, programs is not being able to do that. But you know something? Great people, great people are always lonely. It's empathical. It's, it's something it's, about... It's like, unfortunate. It is. They're, they're great. They're always great. They're some, but tell me something. The book, Mommy Dearest, yes. was it exactly the movie? Was it exactly like your book? No, that, nothing like it. Doesn't, nothing. Tell me what. I don't know why. Um, I tried very hard to convince them that they were making a mistake. Did you have anything to say? I wrote two scripts. Two scripts. Mm -hmm. And after they received the second one, they then spent another year and a half to two years, <coughs> went through five writers and hundreds of thousands of dollars mm -hmm. to get a script that ended up being the quote-unquote by committee right, script. Right, right. Historically, it wasn't accurate. It wasn't. No. And that's where the problem began. They tried, I think, to show a direct cause and effect. In other words, an event in real life that was um, followed by some behavior on my mother, that, my mother's part, that was very bizarre. Yes. Like uh, they, they put together her being fired by Warner Brothers right. with the cutting down of the that rose tree. garden. I didn't like yes. that. Well, it didn't that's happen that, that way. Of course, I believe that's that. That's too simplistic. Yeah. That's yeah. too simplistic. That's I the mean, one I didn't like. Well, it, it didn't happen that, that way. The tree. It her not, going out cutting that tree. No. That no. was a joke. No. 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 She did do that once. She cut down an orange tree. But I but think it was after the lovers quarreled. That's the whole truth. Okay. <laughs> I was very young and I didn't know too much about those kind of things, but that's what I she think. She did have yeah. a lot of love, didn't she? I think she did, yes. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'd like you to meet right now? What? I would like you to meet another great American son who is Marlon Brando's son. He's great. Yes, he's, Marlon Brando, he's isn't he a great actor? I'd like to and meet so his son. And his son is a Christian terrible. Brando, yes, yes. isn't he? And yeah. it's his first, first show. show. Yes, yes, Christian, how are you? <laughs> Congratulations. 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 Welcome. 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 Christian just got back from Tahiti. Tell us about it. Yes. 
What was Tahiti like, really? Where were you in Tahiti? Down in the South Pacific. It's an atoll about 30 miles northeast of Tahiti itself. And me and my my friend Bill Cable were down there. Your dad sent you down there to cut some trees. Yeah, we were running a logging operation. You're a tree surgeon. Did you know that? That's what he does. Cut cuts trees. Yeah, we run a tree service right here in Hollywood and then out in the valley. And a hurricane. Welcome again to another 30 minutes with Skippy E. Love. Today our guests run the gamut from B to C. They are the son of an actor who created the role of Nels in I Remember Mama, and the daughter of an actress who won a Charleston contest and served as a springboard for the movies. In case you are still wondering as to the identity of these two offspring, they are, in alphabetical order, Christian Brando and Christina Crawford. And now, here's the low who puts a high in viewing entertainment, your man of the half hour, Skip D. E. Low. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Looking at Hollywood today. We have a dynamite of a show, a real Hollywood show. I want you to sit back, relax, because i like you to meet one of Hollywood's great American, and I think she was an international movie star, his daughter today. She is Miss Christina Crawford, who was Joan Crawford's daughter. Yes, yes. Joan Crawford's daughter. I know, I know. I, that must be hitting all the time, Joan Crawford's daughter. I mean, when I was a little girl, it was very difficult because I never felt that I had a name. Right. So I was like a hyphenate, and I always felt that somebody was looking around to see who the little uh, puppy was, uh -huh. you know. Uh -huh. But um, as I have grown up, I have gotten used to it. Not only that, but I was an adopted child. So yeah, I didn't really know my own parents. Uh -huh. And my mother was um, such a superstar that That's there right. was there was a part of her that I didn't know either. So it you took me know? a long time to find out who I was, you know? Uh -huh. You mean you really didn't know your mother? I mean, There really were parts of her that I did not know until I became an adult because I couldn't relate to them. I couldn't relate to the problems. I couldn't relate to the pressures. I couldn't relate to the, to the career. I couldn't relate to how she chose to raise Did you children. ever go to the studio and sit on the set? Oh, sure. For a minute time I was. Really? You know, tiny, tiny, tiny. Uh -huh. Yes, I grew up on a set. How was she on the MGM set? MGM Studios, yeah. I grew Tell up. Tell me, how was she? At Warner Brothers, too? Was yes, she, Warner Brothers. She started at MGM, on. didn't yes, she? Yes, she was there for 17 years. Seven, and she moved over to? To Warner Brothers, which in those days was considered uh, a demotion. Uh -huh. Because MGM did the big, expensive musicals. They right. Had, they had the, the, supposedly the best stars. Uh -huh. And Warner Brothers did the dramatic uh -huh. pictures, the B pictures, the, the right. you know, those kind uh -huh. of pictures. Uh -huh. But there were fantastic, like Adam, yeah. um, some of the, the Burning Bed, some yes, of those yes. other uh, programs yes. have really helped people to understand the problem. That's very nice, Christine. You're very lovely. Tell me something about your vineyards. My vineyards? Yes, your vineyards. <laughs> is it in Napa Valley, is it? No, 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 Where no, is no. It? it's in San Luis Obispo. Ah. And okay. that's near Hearst Castle for Tell those me about viewers vine. that are not in California. Why did Christina Crawford get into the, the vineyard? Well, well it, it's a romantic um, uh, business. It's also a lot of hard work. Um, when I was a is little there a big girl, there's not a profit in it. I understand. Well, you make a big profit. I'm, I'm sure that people like the Sebastianis and the Gallows make uh -huh, a good profit. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Uh, the young uh, wineries have have a difficult time. You have to be in it for a while to oh, see I a see. profit. But um, I wanted. Uh, it's called to? Creston Manor. Creston. Manor. Creston Manor, and the village that our post office uh -huh. is in is the town of Creston. It's really a village. It has two saloons at the post office. Very small town. <laughs> That's right. And a lot of cattle. <laughs> Howard Johnson's yeah. got a good flavor. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing like that. Why so Believe many me. stars have vineyards? Tell me. Why well, there. I met Pat Paulson re recently on a uh, distributors convention, and he's a wonderful man. He started out um, uh, planting vineyards and only then uh -huh. got into the wine business. I think it's it is such a contrast to show mm -hmm. business. Yeah. Show biz business is is high pa paced, urban, yes, yes, yes. Um, youth oriented, and um, very much. What was your last job? Yes, yes. What was your last success? Yes, yes. Whereas the wine business is exactly the opposite. Mm -hmm. Longevity and patience are revered. Oh, I see. 
And I think that's what may make it very appealing. I'm going to ask you this question. What was your mother really like? I mean, really She was many different people, quite like honestly. Like you are saying before, she, she wasn't. She, one of the things that I remember most about my mother was that she was a very sad person. Many times when I was a child going to bed at night, I would wake up in the middle of the night. My, bed, my mother's um, living room area was right next to my bedroom, and she would leave the doors open. So I could hear her talking into the dictaphone, do, dictating letters. And later on in the evening, I would hear her crying. And probably it was 12, 1 o'clock, 2 o'clock in the morning. And my heart broke for her. Mm -hmm. But because I was a little girl, yes. I did yes. not have the courage to go into, into her room. room and try to comfort her. And if I regret anything, and people that uh, were at Warner Brothers, Betty Davis and Bancroft, you know, so, yes, so right. fantastic. Tell me about Joan Crawford on, I mean, at home and on the and the set. Was two she, different people. Two, that's right. Two completely ben Crosby was that different. Too. That's what I understand. And I talked to Gary yeah. Crosby. I had him on my show. Uh, said the same thing. Yes. He's, I, I was very interested because I knew about the family when I was young, <coughs> but I didn't actually know the boys. Mm -hmm. They were a little older than I was. But my mother was two different people. She was the, um, the, the person who had been an abused child. Was she, she, was, she was? She Yes. I think that she was sexually abused. I know she was uh -huh. physically abused. And, but of course, a child, as a child, I didn't know uh -huh. that. Uh -huh. But um, that was the part of her that came out in uh -huh. intimate situations. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. But the professional was the one that was at the studio. And she had that person very much under control, except when she was drinking. She did drink a lot? Uh, in the later years, yes, she did. Mm -hmm. And that's one of the reasons that I am so interested in helping people who are adults now who were abused as children. Well, and, that's uh, what you're doing now, Yes. Right? Well, one of the things that I'm doing. It's that. It's called the Survivor's Network. Yeah, tell us about that. And it's um, a national network of um, an, an organization, nonprofit organization, mm -hmm. that oh. is referral information for any adult, anybody over 16, who was abused as a child. We have um, psychiatrists, self-help groups. Uh -huh. We have uh, drug rehabilitation programs that we can refer people to. Uh -huh. We have facilitators in most of the states. And um, we have a uh, survey now going out uh -huh. to learn more about what the long-term effects uh -huh. of child abuse uh -huh. are on adult life. Yes. And uh, anybody can write me for that survey. And we need men. We need men. Why to men? Tell me. Well, because um, I do a lot of writing for magazines. And um, most of the magazines that I have written for, I have uh, an article coming out in the uh, October Red Book. And they're primarily women's magazines, or magazines that have uh -huh. primarily women audiences. Uh -huh. And um, I would like to reach more men to find Where do they, out, uh, Where do they write to? Um, our address is 18653 mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Ventura Boulevard. That's in the valley. Number 143, Tarzana, California, That's 91356. Okay, I'll put that. I'll let I'll Thank let you. Know. I will. Thank Tell you. me about the book, The Black Widow. You would love that. Really? That, yes, you Let's would love that book. It's it's um it's a murder mystery. Uh -huh. It's about 